Hey guys, it's Mozzy Villa. Welcome to episode 31 of the World Tour at Shanghai Gen Zin in China, of course. And today it's a massive episode because we have a top of the group clash against Jumbuk Motors in the Asian Champions League. And then we play Beijing Guan, second currently in the Chinese Super League. It is a massive game, that one. So let's have a look what's happened since last episode where we lost the derby yet again to Shanghai SIPG, despite them struggling in the league. And then we went absolutely smashed the Thai, uh, Thai, Thai, Thai champions. I was going to say Thailandese, and that's clearly not it. Um, so we had three games since then, and three decent enough results, actually. We played that Tianjin, the good one. You can see we won 2-1. We rode our luck a little bit in this game, but you can see from the player ratings, we actually did do okay. Uh, got the win, of course. Liang, uh, Liu Peng and uh, Chiao Yan, the young striker, um, got the goals with us uh, for us in this one. They got one back, uh, but we did manage to hang on. It was, it was an even game. We did ride our luck a little bit but got the three points and a massive result that went away from home. Then we played uh, Yan Chuan, I think you'd pronounce that. These is a, is a, like a, a second division or second tier club in the Super League. Uh, sorry, in the Chinese uh, League Pyramid, I should say. Uh, and Jan Zin with a hat trick got the job done for us. Um, we were really, really strong in the first half. It was We were 3-0 up. They got one back. Uh, you can see from the play readings, again, match stats. We deserve to win the game. Um... And it was very much a changed uh, team and very, also changed the formation. We played with wingers in this one and we actually did really, really well. Uh, Chan Nam was brilliant in this game. Uh, and then we went and played Wuhan. See, where we struggle, this is it's just to sort of go off track for just a second, is when we have these midweek games is when we struggle because we have to rotate the, the squad so much and, and we just don't really have the depth to do that. So this was a game where we had John Book and then Beijing coming up. Two really, really tough games. I thought we'll rest some key players for this one. Um, and it almost paid off, but we just couldn't quite we just couldn't quite get the job done, to be honest. Uh, Federico opened the goal scoring for us. We dominated the game. They had two shots on goal the entire game, and they scored one of them, which was really, really frustrating. Um, but yeah, we just we just we just couldn't do it. We just don't have the depth, and it's really frustrating. But it's what we've, what's what where we are, isn't it? Uh, so let's have a look at what all that means for the league table. And you will see we are sitting in fifth, only three points off top though. So it's still very very close. And you can see our opponents today, Beijing, two points ahead of us in, with seventeen in second spot. So massive massive game, isn't it? And this is the situation in the uh, Asian Champions League, as I see it, is that if we were to win today, we are through essentially. Because although we played uh, Gamble or Saka in the last game, and if they were to, you would imagine they would win, because I think they are at home for this one. Um, even if they were to beat us in the last game, it would have to be a monumental win because we would, uh, although they would hold the head to head then, wouldn't they? Never mind. Never mind. If we were to win today, we still can't get through. We'd have to at least draw them the next game. So never mind. We Hopefully we'll get something against uh, John Bok Motors. And let's have a look at this. He's saw a moment of realization there. Was, oh, no. <laughs> This is the team we're sending out. So it's Zhang Peng in goal. It's Wellington. It's Yuri Ruz and Rabao. You'll notice we're going a little bit more defensive. This is a really good team. Uh, and a draw here is a decent result for us. Cuevas down the right because uh, Federico isn't registered in the Champions League squad. He came in too late. Chen Min down the left. Fang Zhen Hong. He's back fit with Tumam in midfield. And then Yi Quinn and Vinicius. They go up top. And don't forget there will be a goals of the month, of course, after the Beijing game as well. We can see the way they're lining up as expected. Um, I'm thinking, again, we did try this last time, didn't we, getting at them down the wings. It just didn't really work for us. I think we've got to say, um, I want to I want to say, do, I guess, let's get a bit of passion into this. Uh, let's do it for the fans. Uh, uh, I know the underdog's here, let's give the fans a performance. Some calm, we have faith. And then let's get on out there. All right, decent crowd. Look at that. Nice one, boys. Um, of course, the problem we have playing Beijing so soon in the back of this, again, it's, it's squad rotation. You'll notice Li Shang isn't playing in this one in midfield. Uh, we're going to try to keep him fresh for the second game. Um, this is a little bit of a free hit in that they've beaten everybody so far. They've beaten Gamba twice. So let's see. There's a chance to get a ball in the box here. It's there for Vinicius! Oh, close. Vinicius has actually been looking really, really good. Not scoring the goals, but in build-up play. He's starting to really, really look like he's settling in. Um, what to do from the corner, of course, here. Vinicius again there, right on cue, heading the ball away. It looks as though there is still danger there, though. I'm going to try and build again, it looks like. Obviously, I was saying this is a little bit of a free hit. So, I'm, I was almost tempted to rest Humam, actually, to be honest. Um, but I, we want to go with something that resembles the strongest team, don't we? Uh, and, of course, the benefit of not having Federico in the Champions League squad is that he's going to be fresh for that game as well. Um, Wellington's playing this one because 
there's different foreign play limits, so we could we couldn't really play him against Beijing. So he'll play this one, but he won't play the next one. That's a decent ball for Vinicius. He loses the header though, which is a little bit surprising to be honest. Here's Humam raking ball over for Quavas. That's a cracking ball. Can Quavas get across into the box? He can back post your quad one nil. There it is. Fourth goal of the year for him. A cracking cross for Quavas. He's still good, isn't he? He's not he's not as good as he was, he's not as good as Federico, but he's still he can still do a job for us. In terms of just getting forward and getting crosses into the box, he's as good as anything in the league, I think. Really good. And a good header too, wasn't it, from Yaquin. 1-0. There we go. This is what we need to do at home. A win here, it does make it life a lot easier for us against uh, Gamba, doesn't it? Um, all right. From the corner, Gamba has just taken the lead. Oh, bow just headed over the bar. Um, so if we were to both win here, it'd be three points. And then if they were to beat us, it would still all come down to that, wouldn't it? Because um, if they were to beat us, they would then have, have the head-to-head -head over us, which seems very unfair, but I guess that's them's the rules. Another corner. Can we get a second here? Vinicius! Oh, Vinicius! That's two decent chances from corners now. We've missed them both. Um, we're doing really, really well, though, aren't we? This It's a really defensive formation, but if you defend well... Um, you know, it can, it can work. That's a bit of luck there. Yaquin's picked it up. And, ooh. Gamba is now 2-0 up. So that's looking as though they are indeed going to go and win that game. Let's give this a demand more, perhaps. 3-0 now for Gamba. So that game is looking like it's done, isn't it, really? I don't see uh, Muatong coming back from that. It's just all now. Can we hang on here and get the three points? Um... Decent first half. They really haven't done anything. I'm going to say things are going well. You're capable of better. Uh, and just in my head trying to figure out the permutations of the Gamba game. But even if we were to win this, but then lose to Gamba, they would have the head-to-head -head on us. So, it, it, I mean, in a way, it doesn't really matter. because if, But if we were to draw, obviously, if we were to beat Gamba, we'd beat them anyway. But if we were to... And if we were to draw them, we would ha then have the head-to-head -head on goal difference, whether we win, lose, or draw this game. So... Unfortunately, even if we were to win this, both you know we were both to win this game, it, we still have to not lose to them then in the last game, which is a little bit annoying. Come on, Muatong, massive comeback in the second half would be appreciated. Um, all right, come on, boys, let's kick on here. Let's show a bit of passion. Highlight begins. I don't think actually the shot was going out yet. Um, hopefully, this isn't going to be yelled out in the back of conceding a goal. Can we win that? No, we can. Looks like looks like Humam just sort of tripped over there, doesn't it? Ball over the top. We oh, a little indecision in the fence there. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. This is not good. This is not good. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. Had that covered the whole way. Wellington is tied and in need of a rest. So I'm a little bit. I wasn't completely convinced of playing him because of that. Because when players have match fatigue, they tend to not be at their best anyway. And they've scored a goal. Was that Quavas or was that Rabaul? But done at the back post. Um, we're telling them to show some passion. It, a draw still... I mean, it's it's better than nothing, isn't it? Who was that? It was Quavas. Done at the back post. Um, all right. No need to panic here, boys. No need to panic. Humam is not having the best game so far. Um, we are exploiting the flanks, so let's keep it at that. Let's give it a get creative here when we can. We don't. I don't think we deserve to be level. We haven't taken our chances, though, have we? We've seen we've had a number of decent chances, and we just keep putting them over the bar. Um, go on, Muotong. Here comes the massive comeback. A draw doesn't really help us. I mean, it does, but it, oh. it does, but it doesn't. Because if, as I said, if we draw Gamba anyway, we're through on the on on uh, on away goals. On away goals, on goal difference, sorry. Let's go attacking. Let's try and see if we can nick this late. Um, I don't want to change too much. This second half has been all about John Book, though, hasn't it? it it's positive in a way to, to see that we can we can compete with them, which is good. Gamma's just got a fourth, so that's that. Well, it was already done, wasn't it? Um, oh, come on, boys. Let's not concede and stop each time. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. Let's nick it and go up the other end. There we go. Quavas does nick it and just kicks it straight at them. 
Ruse. That's a decent header for Lee Feng. He just can't quite bring it under control. There's still a minute and a half to go here, or a minute and 15 seconds, so it's plenty of time. This isn't this isn't an end-of-game highlight. Um, it's been going on for a little while, though, which is making me increasingly nervous. Over the bar. Wellington maybe just did enough there to put him off, and that now... Is that the game? 45 seconds to go. There is still time here, potentially. Into Humam. For Ruse. Back to Humam. Back to Ruse. Let's not. Let's maybe just get rid here, boys. Let's just get rid, please. There we go. Thank you. Up for Yaquin. He goes over for Quavas. Is there time? There's 20 seconds to go. If Quavas can get a ball in, he can back post. Chan Min's chasing it. He's not going to get there, though. And it's looking increasingly now like a 1 1 draw. Um, like I said, it doesn't necessarily help us because we're going to be a point ahead of Gamba now. Um, a draw, and we would have gone through against them anyway. And if we lose, obviously, we would have gone out on head-to-head. -head. So, yeah, you can see there, Wellington. Match fatigue, didn't play well. It's not, I, it, Trust me, it's not a coincidence. Um, I'm going to I'll say unlucky, but I do not think we could played that well. So there we go, we hold on to draw. I do wonder... If we could have um, maybe made some subs there. But the problem is that because we have so many games. I'm trying to keep players that aren't playing fresh. Um, you can see the medical center here now. Uh, now we've just played a game. So there's, there's a lot of uh, sort of low condition. But look at the match fatigue. And that's that's the one that hurt you. And look at that. It's just. It's a real juggling act. And it's not the easiest. But if we have a look at what that's done to the Champions League league table. We are in second. And when we will play Gamba tomorrow. And it's. Going, <clears throat> excuse me. Getting choked up here. We can't now top the group, but that was a, a debatable anyway. Um, but it just means now avoid defeat and we are through. Uh, anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll be back for Beijing in the league. Okay, welcome back. It is Beijing in the league. We are not the favourites, but we are in decent form compared to them. So you never know what could happen here. Let's have a look at the team that we're sending out. And it is the same formation, but obviously a different team. So you have different players registered. Um, though not that many players needed a rest, which was a good thing. So it's uh, Jinan in goal. It's uh, Quian, Ruse and Rabao as a back three. Uh, uh, Federico, Baron, Baron de Gay, Guy, Guy, uh, he goes down the right, Chen Min down the left, Feng, Li Shen, and Tumam, uh, Tumam, Humam in, in midfield with uh, Yi Quinn and Vinicius up top. Aha, uh -huh, we were expecting them to go three strikers up top, and they have done that. Um, so again, we're going to look to try and get these guys down the flanks, because that is obviously where they're going to be weakest, isn't it? Uh, what do we say to this? I think just a good old fashioned calm. Uh, what do we say here? No one can go out there and enjoy playing with any pressure on you. Um, we are, yeah, we're still not at uh, at Beijing's level yet. So let's just see what we can do here. And here we go. Here we go. Um, I'm worried about uh, Mr. Felmeda was playing. I'm assuming he is. He's a he's a wonder kid. I've signed him in the the Villa save, uh, and he's a really really good player. So yeah, he is there. There he is, right on cue. Um, though he is tired. If he can do what he's doing in the Premier League, then I have no doubts he can absolutely dominate the Chinese Super League. There's a chance, no. Humam caught on the ball again. Can we win this? This is always the threat with the three up front, is just getting caught on the counter-attack. But, of course, if you sit deep, that doesn't really work either. Uh, the key here is to make sure we don't we don't get, uh, give the ball away. There's just probing around, probing around... We can't really afford to give that much space to the wingers, please, boys. Just over the bar. Um, right, let's give this a get creative. And see what we can do here. Um, it's a really... I always have a really tricky time going up against the three strikers like this. Because it's... it's Yeah, I never really know exactly how to approach it. Um, I do feel like exploit the flanks and that's where you need to attack. But... When you don't have the ball, it's really difficult. Here's Federico going on a run. He sat that man down beautifully. Cross comes in. Vinicius has had a clear. It's there for Humam. It's still bouncing around. Le Shen back to Humam. Chen Min! No! Chen Min! Now something's going on here. We're going to check bar. I don't know if he was offside. I don't... I don't know. Was Chen Min offside, perhaps? Was there somebody else in front of the goalkeeper that was offside? It says we moved up to fourth. Is that a clue? Um, has it been given? There's nothing wrong there, I don't think. Chen Min, it looks as though he's onside. Yeah, he looks onside. That looks fine to me. It's a great finish from Chen Min. Has it been given? We're seeing a replay, so I'm thinking it might be given here. Is everybody onside there? Everybody's onside there, I think. Chen Min's onside, isn't he? It has been given. Get in, boys. All right, that's a great, great start to the game. Let's, let's demand more. 
Let's demand more. Does that get any reaction? No reaction whatsoever. Um, okay, so we'll try maybe maybe show some passion this time. There we go. This would be... Look at that. How made is running down. Let's see how good he is in this. Yeah, he is... He's really good. He's at... Uh, I think... Is he at Boca or Velez? He's in uh, Argentina. I think he's at Boca. Um, definitely worth having a look at. Now, Federico looks like he's got a bit of a kick in the shins here. Looks like he has a bruised ankle. You'll be fine, mate. Um, after this game, we have the, the Chinese FA Cup. We're not really... I'm not that worried about the Chinese FA Cup this year. As I've said, we're going to focus on Champions League and League. I'm going to say I'm not pleased. Just calmly. I'm not going to yell at them. But some of these match ratings aren't the best. Take that Chen Min goal away. And it's been a bit of a snore fest. But we haven't been the better of the snorers, have we? Um, so we can't be too, too happy with that. I just should have just made sure that they are still going the same formation. They are indeed, yes. Um, so that's all good. It looks like Federico's bounced back. It's just a bruised ankle. I mean, really, you should be fine with a bruised ankle. Um, we're not creating much, but touch wood, neither are they. So, um... I mean, we're in front. I mean, we can snore this game. We can kill it out. We can just do whatever we want as long as there are no highlights here. Um, and Yaquin has picked up an injury. How serious is that going to be? That is troubling. We'll bring the kid on again. He scored last episode and we bought him off the bench. He's been doing okay, actually, to be honest. I've been quite happy with him. Um, he's one of these regens, actually. If you do want to have a, have a guy named after you, one of the regens, let me know in the comments, like Yuri Roos. Um... Yeah, because this guy's done quite well. Uh, Humam is looking tired with 10 minutes to go. We're going to take him off. Uh, Chen Min's picked up a knock as well. So we won't muck around with that. And that's going to be our subs then, isn't it? Um, we might play him as a deep line playmaker on support. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. All right. So this is it to the end now. Hopefully that Chen Min injury isn't too bad. Hopefully your Quinn's injury isn't too bad either. Because they've both been quite good for us. Uh, let's give it a tighten up. Your Quinn's been scoring most of the goals, actually. Uh, as I said, with um, let's be more disciplined here. Play for set pieces and time waste. Uh, Vinicius has looked really, really good in terms of, um, of of general play, but he hasn't. He's got some assists, but he hasn't actually done that much by way of goal scoring just yet. Is this? This could be it, boys. I think we've only got him beaten Beijing in their own backyard. What a what a game! Uh, if you are enjoying this too, guys, please do hit thumbs up. It helps people find the channel, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Uh, but there it is. What a win. What a win. The Chen Min goal was the difference on the day, and the match stats don't necessarily say that, that we deserve that. I think we did. Let me know what you think in the comments, but I think we deserve that. I think we were the better team. Um, that was really special, lads. You've played magnificently. And there we go, we are now only, oh, we're joint top, although Z-Town does have a game in hand, so potentially that could put us three points back. But we're right in this title race again, boys, right in the title race. Let's have a look here, these injuries, it is two weeks, we can just about deal with that, I think, and Chen Min's just a day or two, so that's fine. Uh, guys, that is it for today, just goals of the month to come. If you have enjoyed that, as I said, please do hit thumbs up. If you're new, welcome, uh, and please do consider subscribing as well. We will be back tomorrow, uh, we won't worry about the FA Cup game, but we'll be back for... Now, do we come back for Hebe, who are third, or Z-Town, who are top? It's, we'll probably want to finish with Gamba, don't we? So we'll come back for Hebe. For, no, do we want to play top? We probably want you want to see top, don't you, away from home. So we'll come back tomorrow for Gamba or Saka. It's a, well, must not lose. Don't lose when we're into the knockout rounds. And then Z-Town in the league as well. That will be That will be exciting, won't it? Can we go and beat the team that are top of the league. We'll find out tomorrow, guys. Until then, I've been Ozzy Beyond. Thank you so much for watching. And here are our goals of the month for a very, very, very busy April. Take care.